what's up my friends and welcome back to the happy power channel today's date is 9 13 2021 and today we have for you guys the first video of fortnite chapter 2 season 8 and yes it is full of complete leaks i wanted to wait until like right now which is actually pretty late in the day because i wanted to see what was actually leaks what was actually the battle pass and what's actually important to post here on the channel i only want to post stuff that's uh not already inside the game and so on and so forth so hope you guys understand and let's hop directly into it so first things up is this coming directly from hypex in case you guys did not notice this just yet loot pool changes for season 8 it is so hard to check so please don't get mad if i am wrong after downtime uh tax unvaulted silent smg vaulted burst unvaulted uh ak vaulted lever action unvaulted harpoons unvaulted and deagles vaulted so how true is that? I actually did not play very much just yet, so let me know in the comment section down below how real that stuff is. And by the way, uh, Season 8 is supposed to end on December 5th, which means the timing is perfect for a Christmas time for Season 9. So definitely expect a very, very Christmassy, snowy theme for Season 9, which of course we all absolutely love. In case you guys missed it as well, here's the actual win umbrella for Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8. It is called the Umbrella of the Last Reality. We'll always have Cube Town, part of the Cubed set. So it actually looks pretty dang awesome. Also, in case you guys did not know this yet, a skin in the Battle Pass is actually called Paint a Tuna Fish. And these are actually all the character styles you guys can unlock over the next 17 days. So yeah, that actually looks pretty dang awesome. We have all the most popular skins and all the skins that you probably really, really like as far as colorways. And in case you guys were wondering uh, what the actual placeholder one is, it is not the foundation, but rather the upcoming Queen Secret skin. So yeah, Cube Queen, whatever you guys want to call her. But yeah, she will be the last and final uh, colorway you guys can actually unlock for uh, your Paint a Tuna Fish. So cool stuff right there. Uh, we also have for you guys all the stuff in the back of the video, including the first look at the upcoming Queen Cube skin. Unfortunately, guys, it obviously is a secret skin, so we tried to mess with the colors, and it actually kind of revealed her face a little bit. So introducing uh, the first look, possibly, at the upcoming Cube Queen skin, aka the secret skin uh, for Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8. So... Uh, I think it actually looks pretty awesome. Uh, we can definitely note that we can see little cubes around her head or little floating uh, gravity balls or some sort. Uh, we also have for you guys what appears to be a crown on her head, which of course, because she's a queen and so on and so forth. So what's your thoughts about this down below? Uh, we tried our absolute best to reveal her face and we kind of actually got there. So uh, cool stuff right there. We also have for you guys this from Shina. 0.01% of the first war effort in Vaulted has already been funded. If the number reaches 100%, the mounted turret will be unvaulted, if I understand the system correctly. And yeah, so uh, a brand new feature in Season 8 is a community effort unvaulting, where you have to donate bars to unvault a item or a weapon that is featured in the actual vending machines. And this is the first weapon uh, to be unvaulted, the mounted turret. So a brand new variant of that, and it should be actually unvaulted over the next couple of weeks from now, or possibly even this week. It seems to be going by very, very fast, which is actually pretty dang awesome. Although I'm not a massive fan of Mount Deterrent, I don't really see a use for it. It's still pretty cool to see old stuff return to the game. We also have for you guys this from Hypex, which is extremely interesting. Epic are testing something called Dynamic Storm. I have no idea about this, but I will look into it later. Uh, we also have for you guys, here are the upcoming spicy splashes. They are chug splashes, but instead of healing, they give you a speed boost. So that's extremely cool looking. It's a spicy chug splash which is going to be extremely interesting as far as Fortnite competitive. Uh, we also have for you guys upcoming spicy soda item. It's consumed by crushing it. It affects the area near you, like chug splashes, your friends too. It boosts your speed and also has some corruption effect. It won't be available on this update. It's for later this season. All right, so lots of spicy stuff upcoming. Interesting stuff right there. We also have for you guys. So you know how there's a sideways minigun and sideways rifle. They are also working on a sideways shotgun and a sideways scythe. All right, so the first melee weapon is now making its appearance in Chapter 2. So cool stuff right there. A sideways scythe and a sideways shotgun uh, coming very, very soon. To top things off, we also have for you guys an upcoming Christmas weapon, which is likely for Season 9. Icy Grappler. It does zero damage, though, which is very weird. I guess uh, upon actually hitting somebody with it, with the grappler, like hook, it will just simply give you those icy feet or maybe even freeze you. So should be a very interesting item. Uh, we also have for you guys upcoming weather changes, probably for Halloween, light fog, medium fog, and heavy fog. And I think Hypex also posted the first look at that as well. So here's that for Halloween, in case it's not already featured in Fortnite Season 8. Upcoming kill feed text confirming the sideways scythe. Melee attack player sliced enemy with a sideways scythe. 
air smash attack player sliced enemy with a sideways scythe. Uh, dash attack player speared enemy with a sideways scythe. Another upcoming weapon, throwing axe, and it seems to be in a very early development, probably Thor's. Alright, so there you guys have it. Cool stuff right there. And last but not least, the upcoming sideways size has these abilities. Uh, health, siphon, dash attack, smash attack, charge attack, and jump attack. So that scythe will be a very, very powerful uh, melee weapon just like back in... Uh, I cannot remember what that, sh that sword was called, but you guys definitely know what I'm talking about. Uh, the Infinity Sword, something like that. Like, for some reason, I cannot think of the name right now, but you know what I'm talking about. That overpowered massive sword. The golden cube, or the blue slash purple one, is supposed to roll around the map and spread corruption according to the files. I'll look at some more of this later today. So that's a very cool update, and uh, yeah, that's actually pretty true, because we also have for you guys this. There are four map changes planned as of 18.0. Three stage map progression called uh, C and V01 slash 03. Birthday challenges will be enabled with FNBD21. Purple cubes and the golden cube will soon awaken around the map and then begin their journey. I have compared the audio of a normal cube to a golden cube using their awakening sequences. The golden cube has a brighter energy and sounds a lot more powerful. Interesting. And here's that in the background video. Alright, so there you guys have it. The cubes will be moving around the map very, very soon. And toppings off for Tori said, the cubes are up to something. Bet your bananas on that. I'm not sure what the golden one is all about, but the others seem to almost follow it. Keep an eye on this for me, would ya? And of course, that was from the brand new like monkey character. So interesting stuff right there. And last but not least, uh, JB is a dedicated general organizing the war effort against the cubes. If he happens to find out what they happened to the astronauts who abandoned him under suspicious circumstances, well, that would be a plus. All right, so there you guys have it. The actual lore revolving around, uh, I guess, the cubes itself. I will set for you guys the first look at the upcoming uh, birthday points of interest. Not quite sure if it's already inside the map, but looks pretty awesome. And of course, we also have for you guys the free rewards for the upcoming birthday rewards, which should be coming out probably in the next couple of weeks from now. So we got a pickaxe, uh, an emoticon, and I believe a back blink if I'm actually not mistaken. So interesting stuff overall. It looks pretty dang awesome. And last but not least, it looks like players across the Fortnite map from the trailer have spotted what appears to be a massive creature. And it actually might be a Siren Head, which in case you guys have never seen Siren Head online, well, he looks like this. So very, very creepy. It makes a lot of sense because it just simply looks so, so perfect. So possibly a Siren Head collaboration or possibly a Siren Head uh, boss coming soon to Halloween. Honestly, no idea, but very very cool now unfortunately guys that's all i have for you guys for this particular video as always thank you guys so much for all the support thank you guys so much for uh buying the battle pass with code alts mars i appreciate you guys so much and i hope to see you guys in the next upcoming video stay happy my friends let me free let me fly let me fly new kinds of highs we're just wasting here waiting for another year we both know the score we have been here once before so many words unspoken you took my heart it's already broken you don't have to wait i can take the pain i will surrender let me go on a new adventure